we're at the end of 2023 now. And this year has been a big year of growth for me. And probably for you too. But I've learned five lessons. Five really important lessons this year. And I'm going to be sharing that with you in this video today. So that you hopefully don't make the same mistakes in this new year of 2024. Lesson number one. Success takes time. At the start of 2023, I made this YouTube channel. And I posted three videos. But they got no traction at all. And I did not get a single new subscriber. I gave up immediately after that happened. Because I put in three long hours of, of effort into each of those videos. And I got nothing from it. So I stopped uploading videos for a long, long time. About like six months. Until I learned from these guy, this guy who's trying to show me, like a, this YouTuber named Alex Ramosi. On how he grew his audience. And he was talking about how he consistently uploaded a video on his podcast every single week for five years straight and did not gain, any, gain that much traction or followers until the fifth year. And that's when I realized that in order to grow and become successful in any business, you need to really put in the work consistently for years. And that's when I decided that to grow this YouTube channel, I needed to post a video every single week for as long as it took, and I would never give up. And now by the end of 2023, I only started doing that about three months ago. And by the end of 2023, I've amassed a respectable 122 subscribers. And I'm sure that that number will go up in the next year. Lesson number two, the red pill is a lie. So earlier in this year, I was really obsessed with the red pill, right? And I, I had like adopted that as my mindset. For those of you guys who don't know what the red pill is, it's basically like kind of a way of thinking where you, where the guys don't really see women as high quality or they think that all women are like low quality and therefore don't need, need your time or you don't need to dedicate a lot of motivation, energy and time towards them because they're just like at the end of the day just hoes or whatever. And it wasn't until I got into my first relationship that I realized these men were wrong. When I got into my first relationship this year, I realized that there's women outside who are high value and high quality and feminine. These red pillars portray all women as low value and masculine or whatever. But that's not true because there are women who are high quality and very feminine for you. That will actually motivate you to work harder every single day. The thing that the red pillars got wrong is that there is only low quality women and then all women are hoes or whatever. That's completely wrong. And I realized that was wrong way later than I should have. The only reason that the red pillars did not really attract those kinds of high quality feminine women was because they themselves were not attracted to them. So in order to actually find those high quality, high value feminine women that will actually help you in your life and your goals, you need to become the man that they want. So you need to be on your purpose at all times, working towards your goals and obviously being on self-improvement and improving your looks and all that is very important. So I want you to get rid of this misconception that I had at the start of this year. Stop believing that all women are hoes or sluts or whatever. And start believing that there are high quality women. And that there is one woman outside right now in the world that will be your future wife. And you must do as much as you can to make her see you. Because if you're not on self-improvement and improving yourself every single day, she will find another man that is not you. Lesson number three, the value of purpose. Earlier this year, I really had no clear mission or goal in life. But later on in this year, I found that purpose, which is this YouTube channel and bringing men and women towards the path of self-improvement. Before that, I would be lucky if I could be productive for more than a week. Now with this purpose, I'm able to easily put hours of work every single day. If you want to be more productive, you need to find a purpose. It doesn't need to be your purpose, like your core purpose, but it needs to be something, some goal, something that you value and you think is worthwhile towards working to. It could be anything. Just find something and you'll realize, you'll see how much your, your productivity increases. At the start of the year, I did not want to meditate and reflect 
on what my true purpose was. I just wanted to make money or get the abs or whatever, or you know, get 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 instant uh, validation, right? But now I realize that purpose is the most important thing in my life. To be masculine, you need to have a purpose. You need to work towards it every single day. Without your purpose, you're empty, and you're lazy, and you're unfulfilled, and you indulge in instant gratification, and you're a loser. So go find your purpose if you want to change your life. Lesson four, work for others. At the start of the year, I, like many other people, was working for myself. I was working to make money so that I can go have fun. I was working so I could eventually be retired. I was working so I could have a nice body for myself. This was the wrong way of going about things. Because when I would think like this, I surprisingly would be only hardworking and productive for a week or two. However, when I started working for the betterment of others in my life, that's when I truly became really productive. So instead of working for just myself, I started working for my future wife and kids, for my family, retiring the family. And when I started thinking that way, that's when I was really dialed in on work. Because I'm like, I cannot mess up. Because even if I, if I stop working, they're going to struggle. So I don't want them to struggle. I need to keep working, no matter what. Because if I stopped working when I was working for myself, the worst that would happen is that, oh, I would just feel bad one day. But nothing would happen. But if I'm working for other people, and I stop working, then they're going to suffer. And I don't want them to suffer. So if you want to become more productive, extremely more productive, and more productive on a daily basis for a longer period of time, every single day for months and months and months, you need to start working with others in mind. Start working for your future wife. Start working to retire your family. Whoever you want to work for, just work for someone else that isn't you. I promise you that you'll become 100% more productive at minimum. Lesson number five. Work is not a bad thing. At the start of the year, one of my goals in the next five years was to retire early. And now that I look back on that goal, I realize how dumb that was. That's because if you're gonna be retiring from work, it means that you're acknowledging that the work is really boring and not purposeful at all. So you're gonna be leaving it, right? And you're not gonna do any work. But if you're a masculine man who is fulfilled by the purposeful work that he does, retirement is just killing that masculine side of you. Instead of wanting retirement, I urge you to find a purposeful goal that is larger than life, literally larger than life. A goal that is so hard to accomplish that you might not even be able to accomplish it in your lifetime. That your descendants and children will have to do it for you. And when they accomplish that goal, the world will be changed in a very positive way. Reject retirement. Embrace purposeful work. I hope this video has helped show you the five most important lessons I learned this year. And hopefully, you won't make the same ones in this new year of 2024. Good luck in this new year, bro. I hope you can grow and achieve all the goals you set out to do. If you really found value in this video, please like and subscribe. And as you already know, greatness doesn't quit. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, bro.